Hello everyone, it's Big Seller. This video is a guidance for new users. And I will start from the following six parts. Store authorization, scrape listings, copy listings, product management, order processing, and inventory management. For the first part, store authorization, we need to log in Big Seller first. And after we log in, you can see a setup wizard here. Just click the wizard. Those are all our cooperative platform. You can link your store on those platforms to Big Seller to manage your orders and listings. Just click the icon. Now we are in the integration page. Up you can um, enter the integration page by clicking integrations and choose marketplace. Shopee, just for example, click add stock name and enter your stock nickname. Now we are in the Shopee authorization page. We need to select the country and enter the account and password. and click Confirm Authorization. Now we have successfully linked the stock to Big Sellers. And after linking, if you find the listing number of order number is not tally, just click the Sync button here to sync it to Big Seller. Okay, now let's move to the next part. Scrape listings. It requires to download an extension first. If you haven't downloaded it before, just click Scrape List. And click this button to install the extension. Click uh, Add to Chrome. After installation, we can just open a marketplace to scrape listings, Shopee for example. Click this button to scrape listings to Big Seller. If you would like to um, scrape the current page, you can click the icon here. Then all this listing will be copied to Big Seller. After scraping, we can view our listing in the scrape list. I'll just click this button. Now in this list, we can choose the listings, import to store and choose marketplace and store, import. Those listings will be transferred to the big seller drop box. You need to add them in the drop box first. And after you fill out those information, you can click Save and Publish. Then it will be sent to the marketplace. If failed, the listing will be shown in the fail list, like this. And 
list with a reason. You need to modify the listing according to the reason and click publish again. For the details, you can watch our relative videos. Now let's move to the second part, copy listings. If you want to copy listings between your own stores, just use this feature. Click copy listings and select the product. Click import to store and choose the marketplace and also the store. Click import. Now we also need to add them in the drop box. Uh, you can also choose to copy by store. Just click this button. You need to select the copy from store and also the copy to store. Select the marketplace first and the stock name. All the listing will be transferred to the target store. Click confirm. Now just add it in the drop box. Uh, one of our most useful features is Shopee Auto Boost. You can select up to 30 listings. Click this button to add your listing to circular. Hit Add Product and choose the listing. Click Confirm. Now just click Save. And then the system will automatically boost them according to the orders. The part four is for product management. Um, you can see we have different lists in the product page, draft, publishing, failed, active. The drop box will display the products waiting to be added and published. The publishing list displays the products that are click published in Big Seller but are waiting for the platform to process. And the fail list will display the products which fail to be published. Each listing will be list with a reason. Just modify those listing according to the reason here, then click publish again. The active list display the product you have successfully published to the store, including live and unlisted. If you click the Sync button here, the system will automatically sync the latest info from the platform. Actually, when you link your store to Big Seller at the first time, our system will automatically sync once. After that, if you modify or newly publish a product in Seller Center, you need to manually click the Sync button to sync the product to Big Seller. In this page, you can also um, add products, big list products. But if you delete the listing in Big Seller, it will not affect the one in your store. The part 5 is for order processing. Just click processing orders in Big Seller. Actually, you can process orders from different stores on different marketplaces in Big Seller. In addition, when you enable inventory monitor and process order in our system, it will automatically deduct the stock of related merchant SKUs. You can constantly monitor the real-time stock in Big Seller. Now we can see there are six different lists here. All orders, new orders, in-process orders, to pick up orders, and ship orders, and wired orders. In this list, you can see all your orders. For new orders, new order means um, those orders are waiting to process. When you click pack in this page, the order will move to the in-process order 
list if successful. And the order data in the seller center will also be changed. You can view the marketplace data in this size. For in process order list, it will display the order that have been arranged successfully. In this list, you can choose to print shipping labels, pick list, and summary list, and invoice. After printing, we can mark it as printed. When you pack your order and stick the shipping label on the parcel, you can click ship button. Then this will be moved to the to pick up orders. After the courier scans your order, it will be transferred to ship order. The wild order is the order that you don't need to process now. If you want to revert it, just click this button. The final part is inventory management. In fact, Big Seller can help you manage your stock efficiently. You can view and manage the real-time stock in Big Seller. After you link your stock to Big Seller, you will better generate Merchant SKU because Merchant SKU is the only identity of your product in Big Seller. So when you enable inventory monitor and process orders in Big Seller, the system will automatically deduct the stock here. If it is out of stock, you can manually create a stock in list to add back the quantity. Select the warehouse and stock in time note and select the merchant SKU. Just like this, submit. Otherwise, you can create multiple warehouses and manage their inventory in big seller. Just hit this button and enter the warehouse name and locations. Just like this. And the stock transferring between warehouses is also available. Just click inventory and choose transfer. Add transfer list. For the details, you can watch related video. Okay, that's all about today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.